Hello, hello. Well, a massive congratulations on completing the brand Kickstarter workshop. Now, as you know, part of the package that you have paid for is inclusive of 10 follow-up videos, 10 other ideas, examples, and uh, worksheets that will help you to move forward, to really kickstart your brand and make sure that you are continuing what you did in the room to make a real impact on the people that you want to do business with and who will consequently pay for the lifestyle that you want to live. So one of the questions that we had, because we like to make sure that the videos we create are completely relevant to you. And by that, I mean, we didn't create 10 videos before the course that we're just regurgitating all the time. Of course, there, there will be access to videos that we've created in the past. When you go into the Facebook group, you'll find all the videos that, are, that have been uh, posted. And also, what we wanted to do was make sure that we were creating content that was absolutely relevant to the questions you have on the day. So this video that I'm making today is completely relevant to one of the questions that has been asked with regard to strap lines or tag lines, uh, otherwise known as slogans as well. So once you have your brand identity, then you want to be known for something, something memorable, something easy, something simple, and it be catchy enough that people can repeat it without you having to be there. So it might be, for instance, that they see your brand colour and automatically, boom, think of your brand, think of what you're about. Um, it might be they see your icon, for example, golden arches, you think of McDonald's. When you see a tick, you think of Nike. When you see an apple, you think of Apple. So there are really consistent things that you can do, making sure that your brand and everything about you, from your identity to the messages that go out about you, to word of mouth that other people are repeating about what you do, you want to make sure that the whole thing is consistent. So this video is all about the strap line, making sure that the strap line or tagline that you create for your business is completely consistent and congruent with the rest of your brand. So one thing I would say to you in terms of advice before we go into the actual content, because I've, I've created an exercise for you for this particular thing based on the question that was asked, I've created this exercise so that you can go through it and refine what your strap line is. And you'll probably find that you come up with a number of different messages that will help you to move forward. And even if you don't use them all, I'm sure they'll be pretty good and you can use them in other areas of your brand as well. So this exercise is going to really help you to define who you are, what you're about and help you to get that message out there in a really concise and consistent way. So the one thing that I would really recommend you do is don't be reactionary. And by that, I mean, um, we call it doing syndrome. Just because you feel like you're doing something, then you must be doing something right. Well, that's not necessarily the case. And especially where it comes to the name of your brand and the strap line of your brand, it's all about your identity. And once you've created it, you don't want to be changing it because that's how people remember you. That's what people are going to know you for. So you want to make sure that it's something that really, really resonates, just not with you, but with your ideal customers too. So once you've done this exercise, it would be a really good idea for you to go and approach some of your ideal potential clients. I don't mean existing clients or customers because you've already got a relationship with them and they're not necessarily going to have... Um, tell you, not that they're not honest, but when you have a relationship with people and it's the typical British way that you say nice things, you don't necessarily say, oh, actually you could improve that. So you're better off approaching people that aren't your ideal customers yet. And the other reason for doing that is because if they don't already know who you are and what you're about, this is a great time for you to, to ask for their advice as a peer which makes them feel important and it also helps you because when they see what you're about and what you do, they'll start asking questions and they could become your next best client. So we always ask for advice from people that we want to work with as well as people that we're already working with and that way you're getting a real rounded feedback, um, you know, the constructive feedback that you really, really need.
So without further ado, let's go into the exercise. It's called your strap line stroke tag line. And there are 10 things that I've given you to do that will help you to just narrow it down. So what you're gonna be doing is layering, like we did the other day on the brand Kickstarter workshop. We're gonna be layering, 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 just to make sure that um, what you've done in as number one, your answers to number one, they will continue to repeat through and through till you get to number 10, which is where by that point you will have refined your strap line and tagline. And by all means, at the end of this exercise, once you've finished creating it and you've got your top three strap lines, so you're gonna choose from one of them, do post them in the closed exclusive Facebook group. Uh, now, as a brand Kickstarter, you're in the group for two weeks. So uh, the quicker you do this, the better, because then you're gonna get feedback from all the peers. Um, if you are gonna become a brand accelerator, then of course you're gonna have a year in the group. So it's not so time bound, but if not, then you need to do this, this activity, this exercise as soon as possible really, so you can get it up into the brand accelerator group and get the feedback on it so you can move forward. So let's go over. Okay, let's get started. So I'm not gonna run through the whole thing with you, but I will run through the top level stuff so that you've got an idea of exactly what to do for this exercise. Now, your strap line does play an incredibly vital role in expressing who you are, what you're about, what you believe in, and that will then encourage other people who believe in the same thing, they will be attracted to you. It's like values, you have a values match. Um, if you've got something that's really important to them and you believe in a certain cause, then they're gonna believe in that too. So you'll attract people that do believe in that and you will repel people who don't. So your strap line is as much a about um, repelling people from your brand so you don't have time wasters as it is about attracting people to your brand. So this is why your strap line and your logo identity are so important. Now there are some logos here that I'm sure you'll recognize along with the strap lines that go with them. Now I'm not going to go through everything like I say because you can read through it yourself but ultimately there are five things you really need your strap line or tagline to do. It needs to be easily identifiable should be easily remembered, it must benefit your customers, it should differentiate you from anyone else, and it should be simple. Something that somebody could easily repeat when you're not there. Now I've given you some strapline examples to give you some ideas, again you'll recognize some of them, but think about how you want your brand to be positioned. So there are some of these that are inspirational, some of them are very practical, um, some of them uh, are very action focused, some of them play completely on emotion. So think about what it is you want yours to do what emotion is it that you want them to have once they've seen it or heard it from someone else so in step one you're going to list some important keywords that you want your business to be known for now in the brand kickstarter um, on the day that we spent together you came up with some keywords that you uh, and also looking at the google trends it will have told you exactly what people are searching for so if you have keywords that you want to be found for and people are searching for that brilliant but if you've got keywords you want to be found for and people aren't searching for it then make sure you go through the google trends um, exercise that we went through with you on the day and if you've got any questions of course just ask us in fact miles is going to create a video for you which is going to go through the google trends so, um, but you'll have an idea, you'll have an idea of, uh, of what people are looking for. And at the very basic level, even if you don't use Google Trends, just type into Google what it is you wanna be found for and, and look and see how many searches there are for that. If there aren't many results, then, then that's not gonna be uh, necessarily a, a big topic. But if there are hundreds of, uh, or thousands of results, then you know that that is something worth investigating in. So first of all, list some of the important keywords you want your business to be known for. Okay, so as I've given here in, in terms of uh, an optician, it might be glasses, vision, eyesight, optician, reading glasses, lenses, uh, reading difficulties, impaired sight, just when you think of your topic, just brainstorm here, just really brain dump all of the words that come into your mind about that topic. Um, and if you, if you want to um, have somebody help you with this, 
again, pick an ideal customer and ask them to, when you say the word that you are, uh, what do they think of what comes to mind? And they'll tell you what the words are that come to mind. So if you struggle with this exercise, uh, get somebody else to help you and help give you their feedback. And it might actually be really valuable for you to complete this whole exercise and then test it on one of them and see what they come up with to see what matches. So step two, go to a theosaurus and extend your list to see if there are any other words that describe your business and what you do. So that's based on the keywords, pick a keyword, open up the theosaurus and see if there are any other words that describe what you do that you haven't used yet and write them in here. Step three is to take a look through the words that you've already written and now start playing with putting some of them together. So it doesn't need to be perfect just yet, just play simply with the words um, and you never know because it might you getting those words down and then reading them back to yourself after you've put them out there it might spark off something else uh, and this is how our magazine brand name came to life but brand brains came to life because uh, it was originally one of the names that we came up with whilst creating the name for how to build a brand and we totally brand stormed uh, all of the names all the things we went through this exact exercise that we're showing you now and that's another important thing is that we literally walk our talk we don't put you through anything Thing that we haven't been through ourselves and we've created it for ourselves by te- by just brainstorming and doing this and saying actually what we're doing here is really valuable for other people so that's how we're able to then share with you how we did it so uh, go through that and write those down in here step four is to go through a list of prospective words to see if there are any other words that rhyme with it to make it catchier and more memorable so pick one of your words and then see if there's anything that rhymes with that. And you can use Google. Uh, There's all um, kinds of things that you can get from Google if you type it in and say, uh, what rhymes with optician? (laughs) And it will come back with, uh, you know, or you might type in if optician, if it ends in the last three letters, type in the last three letters into Google and say words that include um, these letters. And honestly, there's so much information on Google, you will find that. So write down then down here, because that will start to knit together and become more of a sentence. Then look over the words and phrases that you've created so far and see if they remind you of a common saying or a famous quote. There might be something that Gandhi has said or, um, you know, a famous president or Oprah Winfrey or somebody who is a significant person. Uh, of influence in the world they might have already created a saying or it might be Shakespeare has come up with a quote or um, you know like any kind of really famous person if they've come up with something and it kind of says what you want to say it might be that you can tweak it so for example Gandhi he says uh, be the change you want to see in the world Well, we adapted that and we made it ours by saying, be the brand you want to see in the world. So if, you know, in other words, be that person, be that influence that nothing else exists like that yet. Be the one that is known. And that's how we sign all of our books and we sign off on our social media and all kinds of stuff with that now. So that's become a a quote for us. But it's good because it resonates with people because they kind of have heard it before. So because it's familiar, they trust it. So in step six, you now need to focus on your benefits and results. So write some positive words in these spaces here that we've given you that describe what it is you consistently do to deliver results when people buy your products or services. So write them here. And then because you're the best in your industry at what you do, now write below the words that directly tell us what you are the master of. So match that up together and write those words down here. So you can see how this is layering. Step eight is to think about what pain your customers are trying to avoid when they buy from you. Or it might be what pleasure they want. So if you have a travel business, then people might not necessarily want to be getting away from pain. They might want to be going on their their dream holiday or their dream destination. In other words, they're now moving towards pleasure away from pain. If you're a plumber, then they're definitely moving away from pain of some kind. Okay, so just think about what you do and what pain it is that they're either moving away from or what pleasure it is they're moving towards and write those down here. The reason we've given you all of these, you don't need to fill them in, but the more ideas you put down here, the more choice you're going to have when it comes to it. And all these things can become your social media updates. 
So step nine, this is a really great opportunity now for you to weave them all together and create a, a phrase or series of words that combine to get across exactly what you want to say. So once you've written them down, you'll then notice a bit like the Da Vinci Code where the numbers and the letters all start jumping out to you. There will be things that you write down that really jump out to you, that completely resonate with you, and you can start to tweak them and, uh, and ask other people what they think as well. But just notice if there's a pattern forming where you can make all the words begin with the same letter. For example, an alliteration. Um, all your words might begin with C. Uh, so clarity, confidence, consistency, collaboration. You know, it might, it, all your words, you might notice that they do all start with the same letter. So that will be an alliteration. Or it might all sound the same like a rhyme uh, to make it really catchy. So write those down here. And then in step 10, you're going to finalize your strap line. So go back over all the things that you've written and narrow it down to your selection to a choice of three. And finally, pick the one that stands out to you the most. Now, what you can do, as I said at the beginning of this video, is share that strap line or your the, the last three strap lines, share them in the group and see what resonates with everybody the most. You will get feedback from them. And from there, you can move forward. So wishing you the best of luck with this activity and do post your things in the group anyway because we absolutely love to see what you're up to and obviously the more you share with us the more value we can give to you because we can then help you as you're building your brand. So good luck and we'll see you in the group.